In North Carolina, a river poisoned with arsenic. In Nevada, toxic clouds over a desert town. In West Virginia, foul-smelling waste bubbling from the ground. We once thought these problems were unrelated, but then... People in Roan County, Tennessee, still aren't sure this evening just how bad a disaster they are facing after a coal ash spill that has covered neighborhoods and choked local rivers. Millions of tons of ash and sludge came pouring out when a dike at a coal plant gave way this week. But it's what's in that sludge and its potential long-term health effects that is causing the greatest worry tonight. Every year, power plants generate 140 million tons of coal ash, enough to fill a train stretching from the North Pole to the South Pole. It contains chemicals like arsenic, mercury, and lead. It can cause cancer and developmental problems. It poisons fish and wildlife in rivers and lakes. In some places, the ash is dumped into uncovered pits. In others, it sits behind leaky dams. It poisons the air. It destroys the water. And the corporate polluters responsible, they claim that cleaning up this toxic mess would hurt their profits. But in 2008, when that dam broke, something changed. Nearly half a million people asked the EPA for stronger protections. Thousands of citizens attended public meetings. Local and national environmental and public health groups got involved. We brought the coal industry face to face with the people they were hurting. Those people are America. And America spoke with one voice. Clean up coal ash. But that was then. And this is now. Four years later, there are still no federal protections. Right now, some senators want to pass a bill that will prevent the EPA from ever regulating coal ash. They want to ignore the disaster in Tennessee and avoid deadlines to clean up this toxic waste all across America. But we can't let polluter profits triumph over public health. We have to do something to clean up this mess. So, call your senators. Send this email and share this video with your friends right now. Together we can clean up this toxic mess, but we have to take action now.